All right, Movers, here's the challenge video for 4.4. Skyler's gonna demonstrate, but you need a timing device that's gonna keep track of 12 one minute intervals. At the start of every minute, you're going to do four get up and downs. As soon as you've completed those, use the remaining time you have in that minute for max jumping jacks. So this will demonstrate for you. We're gonna pretend we're starting minute number one. Okay, three, two, one, go. Skylar will do four get up and downs. Notice she's holding one hand up in the air with no load. So that's a level two, get up and down. 12 pounds and six pounds would be level three. And uh, using all four limbs, not holding the arm in there would be level one. But she's doing a great example at level one. That was four. And now with the remaining time in the minute, she's gonna do max jumping jacks. She's got approximately 35 seconds worth of jumping jacks in her. And then at the start of the second minute, and let's pretend that just happened, she did 20 jumping jacks. I'll record that. Four more get up and downs. And this is the start of the second minute. Make sure you're alternating the hand you hold in there. So do it, there you go. She'll do four more get up and downs. And then after completing those four, go back to jumping jacks for the rest of the second minute. What was that, was that number three? Okay, and here's four. So after four, she goes right back to jumping jacks because the goal is to score, record as many jumping jacks as you can in the time you have left over in each minute. Excellent job, Coach Skyler. Um, at the end of 12 minutes, tally up all the jumping jacks you did across all 12 intervals and record that. That gives you your bragging rights for this challenge. Of course, you're gonna cool down afterwards. We'll see you at Wednesday's movement plan. Remember, keep moving. Great job.